Hello, everyone. My name is Kiara Imani Williams, as I'm sure you saw in your program. I'm a 26 year old and I'm a graduate of the University of Virginia School of Law. I'm also a blogger. I write for the Huffington Post. I'm socially conscious and I'm politically aware. I'm a feminist, but I am a feminist who competes in beauty pageants. Yes, the type of pageants where women walk across the stage in a swimsuit and high heels and work to convince a panel of judges that we really do want world peace. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> in fact, I'm the winner of Miss Virginia USA's Miss Congeniality competition last year. <laughs> Thank you. That just means I'm really, really nice. And again, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so the question is, why do I compete? How could someone who calls herself a feminist compete in such an antiquated activity that you know, glorifies traditional gender roles and stereotypes? Well, the answer is quite simple. I compete because I had a great time. I loved it. I loved the glitz and the glam. I loved meeting other women across the state of Virginia who were interested in the same things as me, and a lot of them are here tonight, so thank you so much for coming, ladies. But this isn't about pageants. This is bigger than pageants. This is about women all across the world who are criticized for their traditional choices, even when those choices are well-informed, whether that's the choice to wear a head covering or the choice to enter into an arranged marriage, or the young ladies at Alpha Phi who were criticized in the, in the media, heavily criticized, because in their videos they were, you know, running around and skipping with glitter and euphoric hand-holding. But feminism is supposed to be about choice, right? My body, my right. Pro-choice. I actually didn't know if I was going to do this until like five seconds ago, so I'm sure my, my parents are like freaking out in the audience right now. I'm sorry, mom and dad. But this is my choice. And I find it ironic that the same women who have criticized me for my choices are the same ones that are preaching these messages about pro-choice. And you know, last year, I never could have imagined that my decision to compete in pageantry would have caused so much drama. When a colleague of mine, Erica Baldwin and I, she's here tonight, uh, decided to compete in Miss Virginia USA, and the school did an article on us, and a group of students protested because we were an embarrassment to the university. And to make it worse, following the atrocious rape accusations in Rolling Stone magazine last year, I'm sure a lot of you remember that, we were accused of perpetuating rape culture as if my love for high fashion was synonymous with asking a man to rape me. I want to be quite clear. I don't dress for you, and I don't dress for a man. I dress for me. So my question to you is this. What if as women, we spent as much time focusing on equality as we did judging one another for our crazy outfits? What if we focused on the issues that mattered? The glass ceiling, equal pay, equal opportunity, social inequality, violence against women. What if we ditched the judgment for empowerment? You are beautiful. You are pretty enough. You are tall enough. You are smart enough. You are everything. You are enough. And to the ladies who made me feel awful last year, to the ones who made our year a living hell, I thought long and hard about what I would say to you, but I want to let you know that I forgive you. Because I'm not embarrassed of this. I wear my crown with pride. I'm 26 years old, I'm a feminist, I compete in beauty pageants, and I really do want world peace.